So, uh, the Toronto Suns' Brian Lilly, Lilly just recently did a an interview with Jordan Peterson, and I think Jordan Peterson had some very interesting things to say, so I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys. And uh, let's just take a look at this video. It's just a short clip, and then we'll talk about it a little bit after. It's very disruptive to raise your children on a sinking ship. And if you don't think Canada is a sinking ship, you're an idiot. We now make less per capita True. than people in Mississippi. We're worse off than the people in the worst off state in the U.S. Yeah, It's a race to the bottom. The OECD predicts that we'll be the worst performing country in the developed world for the next three decades. Yeah. Well, if, you, if you're a Canadian and you think the Charter of Rights protects your rights, you're a fool. That thing also that true. paper is written on, you don't have property mm -hmm. rights to any great to any real significant degree. You certainly don't have the right to free speech, especially if you're a professional. Uh, the Canadians who are silent when their conscience is telling them to speak should pray that they die before the full consequences of their stupidity make themselves manifest. But they'll have their children to to suffer. Their children can suffer for them because that's really the, that's the consequences of silence. And you said erosion of freedom. It's like, no, we should make it more stark than that. Canadians do not understand this. Their freedoms are already gone. What we have is the, we have the remnants of freedoms. We have the echoes and ghosts of freedoms. We have the apparatus of freedom. The freedoms are already gone. And now the consequences of that are going to unfold. Now you can already see that happening in Canada's economic decline, but it's certainly not going to stop there. So and, you know, this, it's very hard for Canadians because we are accustomed to assuming that our fundamental institutions are sound, and they were for a long time. You could trust that the political parties essentially stood for what they said they stood for. Exactly. And what's happened is that the spirit of the kind party of. has determined how to invade low-level bureaucracies and exert itself. We're protected to some degree against tyranny at the highest levels of, of the political, but we're not protected at all against creeping tyranny in the administrative state. And especially when the judiciary enables precisely those actors. And they, they are not responsible to the market as you are if you're an evil capitalist. And they're not responsible to, in, 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 in any real sense, to, to the electorate. So that's pretty interesting. I mean... You know, and if you don't know uh, Dr. Jordan Peterson, he is a Canadian. He's not like an American, you know, uh, kind of viewing Canada from the outside perspective. I believe he lives in the United States now, but I'm still, I'm pretty sure he has property here in Canada. He's lived in multiple provinces. He knows a lot about what he's talking about. And in terms of what he was talking about freedoms, well, look at the Freedom Convoy. People had their bank accounts froze because they were there spreading a message. Bill C-11, those are just a couple of examples. We don't have freedom of speech in this country. And I don't think a lot of Canadians know that. And what Dr. Jordan Peterson, and of course myself to a much lower extent, he's he's got uh, he's way more known than, than I am, that's for sure. But he, you know, what we're trying to say is Canadians need to really start to understand this. And then when our politicians do something insane like what they've been doing, we need to hold them not just accountable, extremely accountable. We also, in my opinion, as Dr. Jordan Peterson, our, our Charter of Rights isn't even worth the paper it was written on, and that's true. There's so many loopholes where you can just kind of like, yeah, yeah, freedom of speech, but then Trudeau can just invoke an emergency act when there wasn't when there wasn't even an emergency. There's there's a lot of other loopholes too that they can just completely get around and really change things. And the the there's not a lot of Canadians who really I, mean, I don't even think there's Canadians who have seen. The Charter of Rights. Even myself, I've only seen it a few times. I can't, you know, I haven't, certainly haven't memorized it, but I at least know what it looks like. And I do understand that it's not as, nearly as durable as a document as the, as the United States Constitution. They have a lot of amendments and they're very carefully written because they understood that sometimes oppressive governments can come in and, and be, essentially become a tyrannical government. So, the more Canadians know this, the more that we can understand. And I don't know exactly what we can do about this, but the Charter of Rights does def definitely need to be revised. 
I don't know if any of you know any to know a little bit more about that. Uh, is there something we can do? Is there like a petition we can sign? You know, can we go to someone like Pierre Paul Yev and say, hey, you know, what can we do? What can you do for us when you get into office? Can you kind of change this, rewrite it in a non in a non biased way with MPs from every party and kind of fix this so that what happened under Justin Trudeau's reign can never happen again. Because that can happen again. But unfortunately, I mean, as I've said many times, there's about 25% of voters who still like the guy. They don't understand communism. They don't understand corruption. They don't understand tyranny. They don't. And they probably never will. I mean, after nine years, you voted for him for three times. You're going to vote for him for the fourth time. I mean, go ahead, but I mean, it's it's, it's insane. Uh, and that's, you know, I've also made the point too before many times on this channel that, you know, we really need to revise voting. Not because people like Justin Trudeau, but because there are clearly a lot of people in Canada and the United States, but let's just talk about Canada for now, who don't know what they're talking about. They're one issue voters or they voted for Trudeau because he's handsome. It's like, Wait, if that's all you're voting for, stay home. We don't need you here. Or at least have some sort of weighted vote where if you don't know much, okay, your vote counts for a quarter of a vote. If you know, you know, maybe as much as I do, maybe it's a half a vote. And then, you know, experts or people who served in office, maybe theirs is a, a full vote. I, I'm not saying you should, that's the way to do it. I'm just thinking out loud. But there's got to be some way we can kind of revise this because you're seeing a lot of people who are voting. And again, they have no idea what they're talking about. I know conservatives. Right? This is not just because of Trudeau. I'm saying this about conservatives too. I personally know conservatives. When I ask them, hey, why do you vote conservative? They say, because I'm conservative. I say, well, which policies do you like? Well, I don't know. Wait, what do, you, what do you mean? Like, why even bother voting? Well, it's my right. Okay, but you don't care about it. Just stay home. Like, just, just stay home. And a lot of those people, they'll, they'll flip around and go to parties. They don't know what... They don't know the policies. They don't know what they stand for. And then when you start asking them things, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? What do you think about this? Turns out they're like a socialist. It's like, you vote conservative, you're a socialist. Or they start talking about, you know, more conservative things, but they vote for the liberals. It's like, what? Like, it makes no sense. Votes should make sense. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, I... You know, it's, it was a lot to unpack what, Justin, what Jordan Peterson said. And again, if you haven't heard from him before, definitely go check out his channel. His daughter has a channel as well. She's also uh, very smart and has a lot to say. So uh, that's going to be it for this, guys, uh, this video, guys. Thank you again so much for watching. And please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe.